And now for more about China's nuclear submarines and the timing of the revelation of these forces, uh, let's turn to my colleague Han Bin, who's been covering this. Well, Han Bin, first of all, tell us more about this unique and mysterious force, how powerful it is, and how it has developed. Well, according to the Chinese military, China's first nuclear power submarine was put into commission in the year 1970. And the first nuclear submarine force was set up four years later. China successfully tested its first ballistic missile in 1982 and launched its first underwater ballistic missile in 1988. Then China became the fifth country capable of launching ballistic missiles from nuclear submarines. And after 40 years of development, the country's nuclear submarine force has reduced the technological distance between it and some of the most advanced countries like the United States and Russia. And it's been said that it's led the world with its advanced telecommunication systems, torpedoes and other onboarding arsenals, plus its diving experience. The fleet has made many breakthroughs, including deep diving and long duration in the waters, and it has done so without any accidents. Well, people are talking about the timing of the revolution of this nuclear submarine force. It roused some speculations about the purpose. So many say China has chosen this time to show its muscles in order to resolve the disputes with its neighboring countries. So what is your take on this? Well, I don't think China intentionally selected the time to show its military strength. It's much more of an ongoing process of its uh, growing uh, confidence and its growing openness with its modernization and showing its confidence to tell the world about its strength and its core interests. And in fact, we know that it's not the first time the country has revealed its details about the nuclear deterrence force. We know that back in 2009, when the PLA Navy celebrates the 60th anniversary of the founding, two nuclear submarines left the parade off the northern port of Qingdao. That move underscores the PLA's attempts to build goodwill by increasing its transparency. So far, there has not been an official release on the detailed strengths and deployments of China's nuclear submarine force. But experts believe China is speeding up its naval capabilities to better protect its national interests. Back to you. All right. Thank you very much, Han Bing, for your reporting. And more talk